Good morning. Okay, so um, yesterday we were, where were we? We had, oh yeah, we were working on test edit goal and it had failed because I didn't give it a expected result on one of the SQL tests. So I need to work out how to do that again. <clears throat> so, okay, so it's this update. Um, I didn't give it any kind of expected error or results because I don't expect either, but I guess I do need to set it as um, having no result and that should mean obviously that it doesn't have an error as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done this before. I think it's a bit of a song and a dance because I don't actually want a result. Um, let's see, that must have something. It's been a while since I've done this. No, oh, there we go. Result nil. Okay. New error result nil. Is that the only one I've got? Yeah. Okay. New error result nil. Fine. Okay. What was it? We'll return result. Result. That's it, wasn't it? We'll return result. Okay. All right, let's see what that does. Yay, passed. Okay, that's good. So, saved, true, no token string, no authentication error. Good stuff. All right. Okay, so we have this basic edit test here um, where we are mocking up a token. We are mocking up a goal. And then we are doing an update of the goal with the same data. Um, so we'll need to test change that in a second. Um, and then we run the edit goal endpoint with that same data. Um, and then we test it. So let's take out this log here and let's put the SQL back to be in the first thing we check. Um, so we want, so there's a couple of things we want to do here. The first is make sure that updating it actually makes a difference. So let's, let's just change the value. So we'll do that. here what we'll do is we'll make it 20 so that should really make no difference 
to what we see on the test. Um, It should just be a happy path, but at least I'm changing a value here. Okay, give that a quick run. Okay, good. Okay, so we have a new test, test edit goal. Actually, let's make sure that the date changes as well, because um, because dates are a bit tricky. So what we'll do is we'll do something like this. And we'll do end date equals. Now we'll just do end date. And we'll just add another 28 days. Good. And we've got no verification that anything's actually saved there, though. Um, but that's that's okay because we're testing an endpoint. And it doesn't return anything at the moment, anyway. Maybe I'll change that later. But anyway. Okay, so let's um, let's quickly save that off because that's good. What have I got changed here? We'll leave them for the moment. We will. Let's check. All right, so we've got this. I will just try to add that. Okay. Now I want to do a little refactoring. The whole reason that we ended up with doing test of edit goal instead of test of add measurement um, was because we didn't have a way of mocking up a goal and first measurement to then do the follow on add measurement. So I want to now kind of refactor this out so that this mock up bit here um, as far as hmm, that's a little bit difficult actually, isn't it? Because I don't know in some cases. Well, I guess I just need to make it so that 
I return. Data for it. Or just a new row. What do I actually do in ad measurement so far? It's, yeah, it's not complete, it's up. Where is it actually? In theory, we Get goal member ID. Then we validate the token. Okay, and then we actually do the create measurement. So the get goal member ID, that's the bit. I'm going to do quite often as well as the token bit there's not as much to it as I expected actually Yeah, because we're not validating against anything in the goal. All we do is make sure we have a goal that matches the member that is basically valid. So the token's good, the goal and member all, all match up, but we're not checking anything in the goal against the inputs for the measurement. We don't check the value, we don't check the date, against the goal stuff, because I don't think we need to. We certainly don't need to check the date, because if you put in duff date, it's just going to change the way the goal works. That's fine. That's expected. If you put in a date which is before the first measurement, then it just means you started the goal earlier. If you had a date which is beyond the end date, you're just continuing past the end date. Doesn't matter. So, and if you put in tough data for your value, then that's on you, isn't it? You just have to correct it. So, so yeah, I don't think I need to do anything major, actually. I probably did not need to do the edit goal test for, for this case, but I guess I needed to do it anyway. Um, Although, I do need the goal ID.
And of course the member. Okay. I think Is that valid token to uh, yeah. It might be just the token stuff I need to do actually. I can mock that up. As that so, but Quite a little function for that. Let's try it. So let's take this. And we will call this mock token. And what we're going to pass it. We need to pass Just the mock. I think we do, that's all. Okay, let's try that. Mock as SQL mock SQL mock and we're going to return What should we take? Well, I think we can return. Well, member ID would be good. So we need UID UID. Do you bother bringing back the token date as well? Let's try that.
Is that the wrong type? Ha, huh, of course. That's fine then. Yeah, I guess we're dealing with strings until it hits the database. Kinda. Let's see if this works then. So... Get rid of all this. So now we can reuse that over and over again to get our default member ID and its token date, which is handy for basing everything else off it. Okay, let's try that, let's see what that does. Make sure it works. Nope. Five, five, six, two, undefined words. Oh, okay. There it is. Ah, oh, I need to take a string, of course. All right. All right, we'll keep that then. So I've got to pass it back in at some point into the thing image you go. What's in my name? Right. Are we good there? Neat. All right. So Do we mock up all this stuff, but still pass it in here when we need it? On the API, just in a read goal, okay. We 
which we're not going to do on the add measurement. Yeah, I think I want to keep it like that. I was just debating whether I should use just read goal and then check it. But that's quite wasteful. That's like grabbing all the fields when all I need is the member ID. If I'm not actually using it elsewhere. Yeah, we'll keep it as is for the moment, I think. So. Yeah, oh, actually, did we, um, yeah, we do do a valid token, so it's the same thing. It's just later on. Okay. Copy of this and then update it for add measurement. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. We might want some notes. Don't need go get a date taken.
think what we can do That's the angle of failure. Let's not do that. Yeah, it's pretty simple actually, isn't it? I am just going to be doing an insert. And the date taken just needs to be time now. I don't need to really do anything else. I could do the truncate thing actually. I don't think let's just make sure that I create a measurement. Oh, it does return them. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's grab that. Oops. A chunk here. Yeah. So I want
date taken to be time now UTC truncated to the day. So when I actually do the add row. With the date taken and the notes, we'll return that row. That's all gone. Oh, of course I'm getting the member back from the token. I don't want that now. Oh, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should be passing in the member ID. Because that's going to be something that I might want to change. And then based on that, get a different token. Yeah. So... Let's take that out then. I will turn a string of time. We'll pass in member ID of the string. And then we'll do something slightly different.
Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. This is all changing, so take this, stick it up here, and it's going to return. just the member ID. So it's going to do a query with the goal ID. And return just the member ID. Guess that's complaining about not being used. Of course. Might just nix that in a second. We're then going to create a measurement. It should really should really have a different UID. Let's go grab one. So the reason why I'm changing that is because of, in theory, oh, I don't have the goal yet, do I? That's what I've got to do as well. Oh, of course, I do need to add the goal. Otherwise I can't create a different measurement. Okay, I've got long. Um, let's quickly check this. So, with a new measurement, with the same value. So this is like a completion measurement. Uh, for today's date, we do the insert in theory with the goal ID. The value, the date taken, and notes. Then we'll return the rows. We are doing add measurement. Pass an in ID token string value date taken. notes and in theory that would do its thing 
and we'll get saved and no token string or authentication error because we haven't done the token string yet. Uh, so that should in theory work bar from that, which we're not using anymore. Now, because we're mocking, we don't actually do the query. <laughs> That returns any um, previous measurements or previous goal other than the member ID check. So I guess that's the minimum that I need to do. That might actually work. So why have I got an error somewhere? Well, oh. there. Okay, do that quick. Apparently not. What's the shape? Go on ID. Okay, that makes sense because we're on a measurement. Excellent. Okay. We have a test of the add measurement and a refactored edit goal. And that's good. Right, and I've got to go. Uh, so I will just commit that. I do. And we're done. Right. Uh, so I've got to go. Um, but uh, until next time, take care.